genetic explanation for schizophrenia says that genes can predispose someone to developing it. DNA studies suggest that a number of genes are associated with schizophrenia, although no single gene has been identified. The International Schizophrenia Consortium found that schizophrenics were more likely to have DNA missing on chromosomes 1, 15 and 22 compared to non-schizophrenics. So how might faulty genes lead to schizophrenia? Genetic abnormalities may lead to high levels of dopamine, a neurotransmitter in the brain which is linked with schizophrenia. Genetic abnormalities may also lead to structural differences in the brain that cause schizophrenia. Twin studies provide evidence that genes play a role in the development of schizophrenia. Gottesman, 1991, found a 0.48 concordance for schizophrenia in identical or monozygotic twins compared to only 0.17 concordance for non-identical or DZ twins. This suggests that there's a genetic basis for schizophrenia, as monozygotic twins who share 100% the same genes had a high concordance rate for schizophrenia. That means that if one had schizophrenia, there was a higher chance that the other one would have it too. Adoption studies also suggest that there's a genetic component to schizophrenia. Heston found that 10% of adoptees who had a biological mother with schizophrenia went on to develop it themselves. Although genes may predispose a person to developing schizophrenia, environment plays a role too. Otherwise, the concordance rate for schizophrenia in identical MZ twins would be 100%, and it's not. The stress diathesis model says that genes may predispose a person to schizophrenia, but there also needs to be stresses in the environment for the disorder to develop. For example, if someone experiences bullying, divorce, or abuse. Now test yourself with this five question multiple choice quiz. Question one, which of the following is not true? A, a number of genes are associated with schizophrenia. B. Schizophrenics are more likely to have DNA missing on chromosomes 1, 15 and 22. Or C. A single gene has been found for schizophrenia. The answer is C. No single gene has been found for schizophrenia. However, there are a number of genes associated with the mental disorder. Question 2. How might genes lead to schizophrenic symptoms? A, by increasing the levels of serotonin. B, by increasing levels of testosterone. Or C, by increasing levels of dopamine. The answer is C. Genetic abnormalities may lead to high levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine in the brain, which is linked with schizophrenia. Question three. Who found a 0.48 concordance rate for schizophrenia in identical or monozygotic twins? Is it A. Gottesman, B. Heston, or C. Bowlby? The answer is A. Gottesman, 1991, found a 0.48 concordance for schizophrenia in identical or monozygotic twins, compared to only 0.17 concordance for non-identical dizygotic twins. This suggests a genetic basis for schizophrenia. Question 4. What percentage of adoptees whose biological mother had schizophrenia developed it themselves in Heston's study? Was it A, 10%, B, 20%, or C, 30%? The answer is A. Heston found that 10% of adoptees who had a biological mother with schizophrenia went on to develop it themselves. Question 5. What does the diathesis stress model say? A. That genes are all important in the development of schizophrenia. B. That genes predispose someone to developing schizophrenia, but there also needs to be stresses in the environment. Or C that environment is the most important factor in the development of schizophrenia.
The answer is B. The stress diathesis model says that genes may predispose someone to having schizophrenia, but there also needs to be stresses in the environment for it to develop. If you want to get more of my revision materials, you can get my revision guides on Amazon.co.uk for both the Edexcel and AQA specifications. There are also resources on psychologydon.com.